Morning San Diego. <laughs> All right, Brad Perry is at the Braille Institute in University City this morning learning about the services offered there. Hey, Brad. Morning, guys. Uh, we're here at the Braille Institute uh, over in La Jolla, and uh, Jay here. Let us know a little bit about this place because it's kind of like a hidden gem. I actually have driven by this, not realizing uh, that it's the Braille Institute here. Yeah, we, we are a hidden gem, and we don't want to be. We've got a lot of wonderful things going on here, and we want people to know about it. Yeah, well, let's talk about the Institute here because you guys take it from people who are legally blind to people who might have partial uh, blindness, right? Correct, yeah. So we have the whole gamut of sight loss. When it's difficult for people to read, newspaper print. Uh, they sometimes go to their ophthalmologist and they could give it a referral to come to have services with us here at Brown Institute. So what kind of services do you guys have here? We've got a variety. So we've got uh, child development programs for families that have children born blind. We have youth programs. We have young adult programs. We have older, older adult programs. And typically when a person goes to their ophthalmologist and they say, you know, there's not much we can do for you, they give a referral and they go to our low vision department. So we've got a low vision specialist that works with magnification, lighting devices, to help them use any of their remaining vision that they might have. And I understand Braille has changed a lot compared to what I used to see at school where they'd have the books and stuff, and now it's become like a huge technology of using Braille. That's true. So Braille is still very important because that's the literacy point. So you do need to learn Braille to be literate if you're born blind. But a lot of the technology that's out there, and we'll see that in just a bit, really has opened the doors for a lot more uh, activities for the blind and visually impaired. I like it. One is Julia's coming over here because we're in the uh, we're in the computer learning center kind of. How are you this morning? I'm doing great, thank you. Good. And who do we have back here? This is Amy, uh, also hi. known as Aim Gilstrap. I love it. All right, great. And what are you guys going to demonstrate really quick for me? Come over here, okay. Julia, so we can see on this side so of me. The, the computer lab. We're equipped with uh, 12 computers. They have all of the latest and greatest screen magnification and screen reading programs. And so what Aim is going to be demonstrating for us is a program called Jaws, and it's a program that folks use that are totally blind, and it's a screen reading program that tells them everything that's on the screen so that they can use it. Well, can you show us right now so we can see how this works? And then when people come in here, uh, they pretty much will learn you know how to use this right away right that's correct so so Amy, what do you what do you kind of like do here what I do I'm going to demonstrate how to open up a document okay and what I'm going to first off do here is press the Windows key that's the start key and I'm in the menus and I'm going to down arrow until I hear Document shortcuts. Microsoft Word documents dash shortcuts two of thirteen D. And so I'm it going talks to, to you. Yes, and then I press enter on that. Documents items new multi select. In the document that I'm going to demonstrate that's going to be opened is bananas. So I just type the letter B until I hear bananas. B book wizard. So, I mean, learning the keyboard is it kind of hard to do? I mean, for someone who's never seen a keyboard before. Well, actually, I took typing at a young age. I was eight or nine years old when I started learning how to type, and I learned the home keys, how to feel for the home keys. Wow, that is so amazing. And, and that's the other thing they do here. And I'll tell you, it's incredible. So, uh, Jay, again, if someone's at home and they you know, need to have the information, they can come right here to you guys and start working on it, right? Yeah, they give us a call. Our number is 452-1111. That's area code 858. And we've got programs and instruction on all different types of things, cooking, uh, computers, fun things, art classes, dance classes, gardening. Just give us a call. I like it. All right, we'll have information on KUSI. Dot com. So I'll toss it back to you guys in the studio. We're going to talk more in just a little bit. All right, Brad. Thank you so much. Brad Perry is at the Braille Institute in University City this morning learning about services offered at the school. Hey, Brad. Hey, we've been hanging here at the uh, Braille Institute up in La Jolla and learning some really cool things, uh, especially from this volunteer here, Tom, who uh, has been here. This is kind of cool, Tom. We were just talking. Right. We want to start having people use their smartphones and stuff who might have uh, vision impaired because it's one thing a way to help them, right? Yes. Well, we've uh, I've personally experienced it going into a fast food restaurant and not being able to see uh, the menu board anymore and I'll just remember and then all of a sudden I decided well I've got this smartphone and I start to use the camera, the zoom on the camera uh, to enlarge the, uh, the menu board. I can either step out of line or I can do it right there, take a picture or just to use the zoom and I can read it and the same applies to uh, going to a supermarket where I want to see what the sodium content is 
and you can't read the can anymore, so I use the camera. Yeah, that's even happening for me. Let's, I know you have your phone right here. You were showing us really quick, kind of like what you do, uh, which is very important because, again, we have people that, you know, making the board smaller so they can this, get more food on there. This is just an example of the um, a fast food restaurant menu board that you can't see when you're 10, 15 feet away, and you can use it on your phone. Wow. And, and, uh, and demonstrating them. Indeed. I love it. And, th and then I know you were showing, let's see, where's the can at as we look and see, because that's one thing. I might even have to start using this, uh, which is kind of neat. But I see how you have everything up here, but then come in. And we're in the library, which is amazing. And I was wondering about this library a little bit, because it's not your usual library, because a lot of these uh, books are all on tape for them, right, to uh, come yes. check out? Yes. This is an example of seeing a can. Okay. And you can see how easy it becomes with that. Wow. And what we have here is, for our patrons, we have a number of apps that they can load onto their phone, which gives them a much greater uh, accessibility to uh, what they're looking at. A, they're showing the specific color, what, the, what they are looking at. It can, there's one app that you can uh, use that will describe uh, a certain type of machine. It'll tell you what color it is. And we have a, uh, we have one that uh, they can use your phone as a magnifier up to an 8x. Uh, so it uh, the phone is no longer just a phone. It is in fact uh, a life-saving device. I like that. If you're lost, good old Siri, you just say <laughs> Siri, where am I? And it will come back and it will tell you you're at 4555 yeah. Executive Drive. And that's what you're trying to work and with some of the clients. That's what we're trying to do is to try to get them to use the device to help them in their everyday life. I like it. Hey, Jay, really quick, run over here because I want people to know, yeah. again, uh, for people that want to uh, be a part of the uh, Braille Institute, I mean, it's open to anybody coming to who are having vision impaired. You Correct. check with your doctors and stuff, and they advise you to come over here, right? Yes, yes, that's true. So we've got uh, classes available for people. We have our award-winning library services. If it's difficult for you to read newspaper print, you would be eligible for our library services. So we have free books, free players that you could get on loan for life uh, for the visually impaired, the physically disabled, and the reading disabled. I like it. There yeah. you go. All right, information's on KUSI.com. Toss it back to you in the studio. All right, Brad, thanks very much.